In this video, we are going to take a look at how we can add Google reCAPTCHA in our custom WordPress forms. So here is our default WordPress form without any spam filtering. And this is how our custom registration form looks. And here on the bottom right corner, we have the Google reCAPTCHA as well. So if that sounds interesting and you also want to make a secure form on your WordPress website, then hop in and I'll show you everything step by step. And this video is part of our complete playlist about custom WordPress forms. And in our previous videos, we have already covered how you can create a custom login form, a custom registration form, a password recovery form, and many more. So if you want to learn more about how these custom forms work, then I would highly recommend that you go ahead and watch our complete playlist. We will link that in the i button above or in the video description below. If you are new to the concept of Google reCAPTCHA and you are not sure how actually it works then this one is the easiest and the simplest way to avoid spam filling of your WordPress forms and with the Google reCAPTCHA version 3 you don't even have to solve puzzles to actually submit your form with the version 3 it automatically detects the bot behavior and it actually makes the form filling experience frictionless for a normal human right now let's dive in in our WordPress backend and add Google reCAPTCHA in our custom WordPress registration form Before we add this Google reCAPTCHA in our custom WordPress form, let's quickly take a look at how we can add these custom forms on our WordPress website. So first we need to go to plugins and here we need to make sure the plus add-ons for blog editor free as well as the pro version is installed and updated to the latest version. After that we need to go to plus settings then click on plus blocks and here we need to search for login. And this is the login registration block that we are going to use to create our custom WordPress form. And as you can see, it's part of the pro plan of this plugin. So make sure you have the pro version installed and updated to the latest version. Once that is done, just turn on this block and then click on save. And now we can go to any page and start creating our custom WordPress forms. So let's go to pages and here we already have a page. So let's go ahead and click on edit. And here you can see we already have a form ready to use. And if you are following our playlist from the very beginning, then you know that this is the form that we created in the first two videos. So once again, we would highly recommend that you go ahead and watch our playlist from the very beginning so that you have a complete understanding about this login and sign up form block. So in this video, we are only going to concentrate on how we can add Google reCAPTCHA in our custom form that we have created here. So let's click on this form. And here on the right hand side, we have various settings. So right now we have selected registration form. And here we have selected layout as inline form. And if we go down here in the register section, we have all the fields listed here. And in order to add a Google reCAPTCHA, we need to enter a new field. So we click on add field. And here instead of first name, we are going to choose reCAPTCHA from here. Below that, we can choose the position of this CAPTCHA. So as we are going to use version 3, where we do not have to solve any puzzle, then it's better we choose the position either as bottom left or bottom right. So I will go with bottom right. Now we won't be able to see the preview here at the back end. Once we are done with all the settings, we are going to save the page and then we will see that in the live review. Now in order to make it work with our form, we need to go to Google reCAPTCHA admin console from where we will generate a site key as well as a site secret key for this particular domain. So we need to go to google.com forward slash reCAPTCHA and here on the top we have v3 admin console. So let's click on this and if this is your first time you will see a blank dashboard otherwise you will see the statistics of your currently added sites. So in order to add your site in Google reCAPTCHA all you have to do is just click on this plus sign here. All right, so the first thing we need to do is enter a label. So let's give it a name. And then we need to select the type of reCAPTCHA. So we are going to select V3, the version 3 of reCAPTCHA. And then we need to enter our domain. After that, we have the owner or the admin email ID. So you can enter any email ID here. And then we just need to click on accept terms and conditions. And after that, you can set alerts to owners or not. So we'll keep it on for now. 
and then click on submit and that's it now we have the site key as well as the secret key for this particular domain and now we just need to enter these two details in our wordpress website so let's go back and here in the plus settings we now need to go to extra options let's open that in a new tab and if we scroll down at the very bottom here we have an option to enter site key for reCAPTCHA version 3. Let's enter that here and same goes for the secret key. Let's enter that here and now we just need to click on save. All right, let's go ahead and update this page and let's open this in a new private window. All right, so here is our registration page and at the very bottom right, you can see our Google reCAPTCHA added here. And as mentioned before, as we are using the version 3, we don't have to solve any puzzle to complete this registration form. So it's going to work in the background to detect if the form is getting filled by a human or a bot. So this is how easy it is to add Google reCAPTCHA in our custom WordPress forms. So if you like this video, then make sure you give it a like and make sure you share it with your friends and community online. Along with that, stay tuned for the next video in our playlist where we will talk about how we can add our newly registered users directly into our MailChimp newsletter list. So I'm sure you don't want to miss that. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notification once that video is live. So that's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.